Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is narrator Ravi Gupta. Today we're gonna continue with our refrigeration system part three. In today's topic, I will explain you about the soft seal arrangement in compressor. And after that, we will see that why an oil separator is provided in a compressor. So these two topics will be covered in today. Top today, soft seal arrangement provided in refrigerant compressor where motor and compressor casing are separate. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Is suppose this is a crankshaft of a compressor, and if it is been driven by a motor on other end at that time it needed sealing arrangement for that a soft seal arrangement is provided here in a compressor in basically for this compressor a soft seal arrangement is provided if it is driven by a motor okay now how this work Soft seal prevent the leakage of oil and refrigerant from a crankcase. As we all know that the refrigerant is a closed cycle so that any leakage outside the system will cause the loss of the refrigeration and will also reduce the effect of refrigeration. So that to ensure that the, there is no loss in the cycle we have to provide an enclosed soft seal arrangement which will prevent the leakage soft seal is lubricated from the oil inside the crankcase of the refrigeration system okay so now let me explain you how this soft seal is provided as you can see this is the crankshaft site where the piston and compression is taking place this is the motor drive where the motor with attach now this is a self adjusting spring bellow which is been hardened face having this seal is having hardened face is been put onto this rubbing face which is rotating in nature and this is a new print rubber so basically as you can see in every seal there should be two mode of protection one is the parallel and second one is the perpendicular the parallel leakage along the shaft is been provided by this new print and the perpendicular leakage is been withheld with the help of this sealing arrangement so let's see what i've written Soft seal consists of a rubbing face that is a rotating part with an oil hardened face against which the seal operate. Okay, so this is the rubbing face which is a also a rotating part. Okay, is been the seal is pressed onto the face by tensioning spring and being attached to a bellow stationary part. This bellow is self adjusting. The rubbing ring incorporate a new print or new print ring which seal it to the shaft. So as you can see, this seal face is been provided between this rubbing face and the seal and this is generally made up of a new print or new print ring. This one is new print and this one is also new print or new print ring and this is a bellow which trying to keep this seal onto this the rubbing face to prevent any leakage and this whole system as it is continuously in rotation is getting cool from the oil supply coming from the crankcase okay so as as i have told you the parallel and the perpendicular leakage is been arrested like that okay now let's see how why an oil separator is provided in, in a compressor oil separator is an arrangement which is fitted just after the discharge of the compressor to collect the carry over oil during compression this occurs as compression is taking suction from the crankcase so during running 
some carry over take place so very simple what do i mean to say that as the compressor is taking suction from its crankcase some of the oil carry over take place during the compression and after the discharge here after the discharge somewhere here an oil separator arrangement is provided so that any carry over of the oil is been put back to the system and so that it doesn't affect the heat transfer of the system so how it work in below diagram we can see an oil separator of impingement type so this is an oil separator which is of impingement type the gas from the compressor is coming here and as the gas is entering this compartment it is getting expanded and as it passes through a series of baffle as you can see through series of baffle its velocity get reduces and as its velocity get reduces and it get impinge on this baffle as it move upward it will change in direction and also the impingement will cause the oil particle carry over along with the refrigerant gas to drop down below and collect on the below this oil particle will which is collected will be returned back to the crankcase of the compressor through a float arrangement when it will reach a certain level so let's see what i have written here hot gas discharge from compressor enter into a oil separator where a series of baffle is provided as you can see these baffles okay as the gas enter the oil separator its velocity get reduced due to entrance of gas in a large area and these gas impinge on the series of baffle provided where oil particle in the gas will adhere and fall back down and collected at the bottom of tray so very simple okay the oil particle will impinge on that and it will get rolled down and collected on the bottom of the tray and at the bottom of the tray a float operated system is provided which will drain the oil back to the compressor crankcase so it's very simple as you can understand this oil separator in the compressor so i hope you understand that why an oil separator and a shaft arrangement is provided in compressor ms credit goes to mac george please do share and subscribe my youtube channel and if you find it useful please share it on your facebook and on your whatsapp post thank you friend have a good day